Now the point is that neoliberalism is dead, but still is alive as a zombie. How we can go, go out? I don't think that private investment can be only the, 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 the driver, that's not true since the 30s of last century. Uh, I don't think that government uh, expenditure of the traditional kind of the Canadian era, uh, which means generic spending turning into military spending, etc., should be a solution, though I do not exclude that that can be the right-wing uh, answer. I think that it is clear that the phase of uh, indebted consumption uh, may create the appearance of stability for a while, but it creates a, a capital which is unsustainable, unsustainable. I am Riccardo Bellofiore and I am affiliated to the University of Bergamo, a university in the northern Italy near Milan. I was lucky enough to know Minsky since the late 70s because he came to Bergamo very often, he even bought uh, a house. I have been intrigued by the two sides of uh, Minsky. The, the most known is the financial instability hypothesis. Minsky died in 1996, but uh, became a very well-known figure after the crisis of 2007-2008 because he was uh, connecting instability to private uh, debt. And of course, the private bubble for household consumption was, was a key here. There is, however, the other side of the moon, which is not very well known, that, that for me was very important. This other side of the moon is the fact that Minsky in the 80s developed a stage view of capitalism, speaking of five uh, phases. Uh, there was the commercial, uh, the, the industrial phase of capitalism, the financial stage, then the managerial stage, the Keynesian era, and after the money manager uh, capitalism. But the other very important thing, which is already there in the writings of the 70s for Minsky, is the heritage of the New Deal. He was very much uh, for a radicalized view of socialization of investment and also for the state as direct employer. So his view out of the crisis of the 70s, but I would say also, the same can be said of, of, for going out of this crisis, was actually uh, a view which tried to connect the Keynes heritage to the New Deal heritage. The New Deal was the world in which he, he studied and he, he made also his political uh, education. So these ideas of the uh, socialization of investment and the status that the employer was very much coherent with the circuit theory of money, but he provided a much more stress on the financial side, uh, on the financial instability, which was lacking in, in the theory of the monetary circuit. Minsky, at this stage view of capitalism, his stress was mainly, if not only, on uh, finance. He loved to say that in capitalism, money is not the most important thing, it is the only thing. My perspective is, is very sympathetic to this, but I have an origin also in uh, the, the Marxian framework, so my stress is also on labor, surplus value, profitability. And as you know, in, in, uh, in Marxianism there is this view of the falling rate of profit, which is very often interpreted mechanically. I try to have a non-mechanical interpretation of the falling rate of profit, stressing the counter tendencies. So in my view, actually, the long depression of the late 19th century was a traditional falling rate of profit theory to low surplus value. Uh, but in the 30s, the crisis was an effective demand crisis, uh, which I would not define as underconsumption, but as, as underinvestment. Keynes plus Kaleski are very important here. Then there was the way out uh, of this crisis, mostly because of the destruction of capital and the World War II. The, the, the following era was the era of the Keynesianism, uh, traditional Keynesian phase, and it ended again because there was a profitability crisis. 
two low gross profits, but this time not for the traditional view of the falling rate of profit, but because there were social struggles, not only on the wage, but also in the direct production process. This view has some depth with the regulation school, also authors by Andrew Glean, where the profit was a containment by workers of exploitation and productivity. After, there was neoliberalism. I see neoliberalism, yes, as uh, Minsky says, as the money manager capitalist phase, that I would rather rephrase in a Marxian way as uh, the real subsumption of labor to finance and debt. Actually, the workers were traumatized in production, so we had this phenomenon that economists call the, the flat Phillips curve. You can reach full employment, but there is no rise uh, in wages, uh, productivity, exploitation is very high, and so on. But also households were, were included through the money managers and so on into finance. And went into debt to, uh, against this fictional uh, wealth uh, or because they needed to. Doing this, they became uh, not only actors through the alienated figure of the money managers in the financial market, they became also indebted consumers. So indebted consumption was the new form of aggregate uh, effective demand, the leading form of autonomous uh, effective demand. In this case, the crisis came with the Great Recession, uh, and I very much agree with the interpretation of Adam Tooze in his book, uh, Crash, that this uh, so-called financial crisis was not really due against a falling rate of profit, under consumption, this kind of thing, and not immediately from effective demand. It was due from uh, the perversion of a too short-term uh, finance, a sort of crisis of funding in a world which is now transnational uh, and there are interlocked matrix. The heart of the matter is North Atlantic uh, finance, the system of banks, shadow banking, uh, institutional investors, etc., related uh, between US, the Eurozone and UK. So the crisis came from there, not from where everybody expected it. The global imbalances between US and China or the internal imbalances within the Euro area. This stage view uh, is linked to the idea that each phase has something which propels it, uh, but the forces leading up are the same forces that exhaust themselves. And so you have an upper turning point and go into a structural crisis. But in this view, uh, whereas there is a kind of necessary upper turning point, there is no necessity in the lower turning point. There must be institutional innovation. This is very strong a view in, uh, in Minsky, but it is also in authors very different uh, as Schumpeter, etc. The German idea, so to speak, uh, of making profits through net exports cannot be applied to the world, eh? and at least to trade wars against we are. So what is the way out? I think the way out is a kind of different government spending, a targeted government spending in the Minsky meaning of the world. But here I also use a concept borrowed from the other circuitist, the French circuitist, Alain Parguez. He speaks of good planet deficits, because the point is that the uh, monetarist or neoliberalist policies, which are different, but here it is not very, very uh, essential to distinguish them, this kind of, uh, of policies, they say they are against the government deficits, but they create government deficits. They are self-defeating because they, they kill GDP and employment and so on. We want to have ex-ante planet deficit, which rise for a while the debt over GDP, but these expenditures are good because they create tangible and intangible new resources. Not only infrastructures, but also uh, the green uh, expenditures. But I think that we should put into uh, investment things like health, uh, education and uh, and so on. So after a while, the GDP should go up, and as Minsky wanted, Minsky was of the Keynes idea that in full employment you should have uh, some kind of balanced budget excluding the investment. We 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 reach a way out of of the crisis.